Brennan King alongside South Bend Cubs outfielder Cole Roeder in the South Bend Cubs dugout. Cole, thanks for taking some time. Yourself as a 19-year-old getting ready for the Midwest League playoffs right now, only in your second professional season after being drafted in the second round by Chicago last year. How exciting to, is it to be in the postseason right now at this point in your career? Uh, it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. You know, these guys are probably the most fun group of guys I've ever played with. So playing with them and playing my first you know, postseason in Pro Bowl, it's, it's going to be a good one. Let's recap this season for you. Nine home runs, 60 RBIs right now as you enter the postseason. But I know back in spring training, it was one of your goals to win the South Bend Cubs center field job. Uh, just what steps did you take to earn that position to start the year? Uh, a lot of work in spring training, a lot of work you know, in the, po in the off season. Um, you know, I really bust my butt all year to try to you know, solidify my spot in center field and do whatever I could to make it. So I think I did that this year, and I'm really proud of that. I think the big moment for you, obviously, was in spring training when you hit the home run in the Chicago Cubs game against Seattle. Um, recap, recap that for us and just how big of a moment that was for you at that point in your career. Uh, it was my first pro game or my first big league game. Um, probably the one of the most nervous at-bats I've ever had in my life. Um, first pitch goes high and tight with like 98 in my head. I think that I think that actually helped me. It kind of woke me up a little bit. And then second pitch, um, fastball in like the outer third that I hit to almost dead center out in my first big league game, first AB. It was probably one of the greatest feelings I've ever had, and I think I'll you know remember that as the most like important moment in my life forever. You take a big turn. You come to South Bend, Indiana. You come to the Midwest, a place really you haven't been before. California kid, you're playing in the cold. Uh, what adjustments did you have to make to come here and you know play every day, and then you entered the real life of a professional? A lot of layers, a lot of layers for, <laughs> for every game. Like if you have like for the cold game, is it was like tights, then sliders, and then another layer, and like two pairs of socks. Like I was freezing. And the thing you wear around your head, right? The oh, kind of ski yeah, mask thing. The ski mask. Oh, that was that was clutch. But like if you wore it too high, like it would muffle your voice, so like the guys around you couldn't hear. So I'd like have to like keep it low enough where I could still talk, but like where like I didn't feel like I was gonna like freeze to death. So it was like just finding that was like pretty good. But um for the other games just. Finding my routine and kind of just, you know, sticking to that to a T and just kind of just trying to grind out every game like it's my last. A big part of uh, your development has been the coaches here in South Bend. Buddy Bailey, the sixth all time winning manager ever in minor league baseball. Paul McAnulty, former big league outfielder. What impact have they had on you? I mean, to be in the midst of like legendary guys like that, you know, Buddy Bailey's been here, been in this organization and been like in baseball for <laughs> like twice as amount of age I've been born. So. That dude's, you know, been in the game for a long time. He's seen a lot of things. He's seen big league guys. He's seen guys that don't make it because their their head's not in it. And yeah, Mac, that's been in the league. He knows what it takes. He hit his way to the league. So I think being around them and kind of them just, you know, floating ideas to me and kind of trying to make me into a man instead of a 19-year-old kid. I think that really helped my career so far. You also haven't done it alone. You've had tons of family support from your family coming out from California a lot. Um, how much has it meant to you that they've been able to make so many games this season and kind of have an impact on you in South Bend, even though you're so far away from them? Um, you know, my family is very tight. You know, we do a lot of things together in like high school. You know, you always look in the crowd and there's a bunch of my family there and you go to like Florida when I did tournaments, they're always there. So I think having them here kind of gave me that extra boost of confidence that I needed, you know, when I was having a down day or, you know, I just wasn't feeling good at the plate. Um, being able to look in the stands and see my mom and dad just smiling and giving me a thumbs up, you know what I mean? Like, it really helped definitely my confidence and, you know, on a, just more than baseball, it made me feel like home. You've also had the opportunity to play with a few Chicago Cubs who have rehabbed in South Bend this year. Mike Montgomery, Victor Caratini, uh, Ben Zobris being a few of them. Uh, sp specifically on Zobris, what was it like to, you know, play behind him? He was playing second base, you were playing center field. It's hard to focus on baseball when there's someone like that, you know, in front of you. You, you want to watch what they do and, um, you know, just kind of look at their routines and see what they're doing and see if you can mix that in your own games and see how he thinks. So I was in center, you know, watching him the way he would go about his business and just, just truly amazed at what he could do and, you know, what I hopefully could do one day. So um, it was definitely an honor to play behind him and really, you know, be able to pick his brain when I could. To fully summarize it, has been has this been the most impactful year of your life? Absolutely. This has been a life-changing year for me. You know, I, I met a lot of new guys, but I also, you know, learned a lot about myself mentally. And, you know, just I think this year is definitely going to be one of the most impactful points in my life. So what's the next step then? I see Brennan Davis is just walking by right now. I was actually about to ask you about him. I mean, you guys are kind of like the dynamic outfield duo in this organization. Do you see a future with him at the major league level? Oh, there's no doubt that me and him are going to be tearing up that major league level one day. Um, from the start, when we started living together, he's, you know, we're like brothers, we're family. So I think me and him in the outfield one day in the big leagues would definitely be, you know, hopefully it's what they think is, you know, what's in mind for the future. But um, 
I don't think we're going to let anyone down with me and him in the outfield. Why do you think this team is so well built for the postseason? This team is a bunch of just crazy, just at like athletic and hyper dudes all the time. Like this is like, like if you ever need a team that's going to like just juice you up for a game and like just get really excited, this is a team. Like this team is just like in every aspect, we have like the loudest guys. We have the most like, like most guys with most energy. Like these, this team is just so built for anything that can be thrown at them. So I think this team is a team that is definitely going to make every team be nervous when they step on that field with us. Whenever this postseason run is over, obviously you'll take some time off, take some rest, but what's got to be the next step for you and your development? Not necessarily not necessarily where, but just how. Um, you know, I, I learned a lot of the, about this year and about the you know last, my first off season. So um, I think my first step is, you know, getting in the weight room and making sure I can get my strength back and get quicker, get faster, get bigger, get stronger, and just kind of, you know, train myself for, you know, the next season and kind of see what they're going to throw and just try to elevate my game as whatever I can. Cole, it's been a really fun year having you here in South Bend. You've been here the whole season. I think you and Andy Weber are really the only position guys yeah, that have played over, you know, 120 or so. But uh, we've had a blast getting to know you. We appreciate all you've done here in South Bend. And uh, go out there and get a ring. Yes, sir, I will. Cole Roder, South Bend Cubs center fielder, joins us. South Bend Cubs postseason coming your way next.